Rick, you've been wearing a lot of those shirts lately. Welcome back to our stupid reactions idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Oh. Uh. Did it burn? Yes. Uh, and thank you for our on Patreon and follow our official Twitter account today. Uh, and follow us on the 2.0 channel if you like American reactions. Over there. Um, but today. What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Rick? I don't know. You think I know? I just show up and do stuff. Uh, we are doing a Kerala tourism. Could have sworn you were going to say we're doing a karate exercise. Yes! A tourism Bye video! Oh, yes! Been a while. Yes. Uh, this was Kerala tourism presents, uh, say this. Nero Trophy Boat Race. I don't know what that oh, means. Oh, so this is presented by Kerala tourism for an event that takes place over there, which must be a boat race. Yes. I would assume so, right? I, that's what it seems don't, don't to be pretty sense. straightforward to me, but what do I know? I'm just a freaking idiot. <laughs> Yep, you are. Uh, no, what if I sat through the whole reaction like this? Didn't even look at the reaction. Is that not what you look like normally? You suck. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. So it's like, how many people are on that boat? Widely hailed as the Venice of the East is awash with numerous canals, rivers, and lakes. Wow, that's gorgeous. below sea level and home to water bodies are plenty. Wow. Whoa. It's like the Amazon. Uh, how many people are on that boat? boat. That's not even Several local boat races are held across the state. However, for every Keralite, the epitome of Valankali, the boat race, is the Nehru Trophy boat race Palapura. A festival that flashes in minds <laughs> the image of jet black snake boats gliding swiftly on the ripples. The snake boats, rowers, and their affiliated boat clubs are synonymous of astounding athleticism and sportsmanship. Wow. Reminds me of that Olympic event, but these boats are much bigger. And so many more people. Yo. Wow! It's like a lot of people. It's like epic crew. Yeah. The history of Nehru Trophy boat race can be traced to the visit of the then Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 1952. He donated a rolling trophy to be awarded to the winner of the annual race. The trophy was a replica of a snake boat in silver. On July 1st, 1969, the trophy was renamed the Nehru Trophy. In addition to the iconic snake boats, other boats like Churulum and Odiwalam also participate in boat races. But the snake boat is considered the king among boats. The Punamaya Lake Track is 1,400 meters long. Four snake boats compete at a time on four respective tracks which are 10 meters wide. Man, I love learning something new every day. One hundred and eleven owners touch the water in perfect harmony. The electric and physical strength of the rivers takes each of the boats to the winning point. And the fish underneath are going, the trophy <laughs> race is unique. It embodies the strength, passion, and the festive mood of the region. It is undoubtedly the pride of Kerala in the sporting Kerala. world.
That really was cool. cool. That was awesome. So it's the Kar Kar what the Kerala? No. That's mispronounced. He yeah. said it. He said Kerala. 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 I think Kerala? that's Yeah. Uh, the, the Nehru Trophy. What's oh, um, Yeah. So the closest thing I can think of is, <laughs> but it's nowhere near what this is, is crew. Rowan crew. Yeah. Which is a very rich person sport. Right. Uh, they, they do in colleges or the Olympics. Right. And there were the Olympics with the really tiny little flat boats. And I forgot the number of guys like on the four team. Four or six or something yeah, like, like six that. Six or eight maybe. <laughs> not not um, like a, a hundred... <laughs> right, and they do that both with single oars on the side, and then they do the, also the kind where it's yes. double oared. This is like, get out of our way. We're going to destroy you if you're in our way with those little wimpy boats. I would got. like to know like the difference, in, and also the there's, I believe, Pacific Islanders who uh, had these types yeah, of... Yeah, that's uh, true. They do that. Not, I don't know if it's a sport, but that's they did it a lot. Uh, yeah, you know what? I love seeing this. I would love to see another video if one exists that gets a little bit more in-depth in depth with the connection between the people and the culture. I'd like to hear from some of the athletes. Yeah. How they train, what it means to them if they win, how the community comes together. And that's the next step I'd like yeah. to have on this that'd thing. Be, that would be really cool But this see. was really cool. Also, I would like to know, like, because at certain positions, like on, on crew or um, on, uh, like, like, bobsledding, basically, mm -hmm. uh, anytime you have a bunch of people, each position is supposed to do something. Something important. I'm sure yeah. in this Certain sections have to do the same thing. Yeah. And then, like, the front section steers it. It's funny like, you mentioned that. Two, two of my favorite Olympic sports are the luge and bobsledding. Oh, yeah, I love bobsledding. Love bobsledding. Bobsledding is fun. It's really, really awesome. My There's so many little nuances to it. My favorite is curling. I love curling. I love curling. You should be serious, right? Yeah. Oh, I love oh, curling. Oh, yeah. We love curling. I love curling. Yeah. We actually, I remember. Yeah, we you were going to play. We were going to go play. Because they have a, a one here, and then we forgot. Uh, anyway. But, yeah, the, uh, the th that's awesome. <laughs> I think we've done a Kerala tourism. We, we did way back when and we it was did beautiful. The, it was gorgeous, uh, and it was one of, and it looked just as pretty. And then you around had, the same time we did uh, beautiful Assam. <laughs> yes, we were, I think they were kind of back to back. Yes, uh, but this would be something so fun to like. <sighs> Take part in Paris. Yeah, it just happened August 31st. Yeah, this is one of those things that if I was doing a tour of this region, I would love it to happen around this time so you could watch this. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It would be cool to participate. To see yeah, if, like you can like keep up in the slightest. Oh, yeah, no, because like, like how fast your shoulders would just give out. All you, all you have to do to know how hard this is is at Disneyland. There's the Davy Crockett Island thing that they transformed, and there's the little canoe rowing thing, and it's funny to watch people getting off the canoe, because they realize it takes you all the way around the river, which I say all the way around, it's not a big deal, but the people who aren't in shape, mm -hmm. you see, <laughs> you can see as it comes around the other side, only like three people are rowing anymore, and the others have their oars <laughs> up, and they're sweaty, and they look miserable, <laughs> and I'm sure in the, the hotel that night, they're like, oh, I need to ice my shoulder. Yeah, because that right there was hardcore. Yeah, that these was hardcore. people are insane. Oh. And I, uh, I love the, the people yeah. keeping beat, and then there's also much bigger oars at the back of it yeah I so i don't know if the front or the back are the ones that steer it probably the back well they i my guess is the ones at the back of the well they say they have different courses so i don't know if some turn a little bit yeah it's true it's super cool i'd love to just hear them too i'd love to hear because you know they're shouting and yelling and the pounding and that's cool <laughs> big 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 i'm, I'm sure i think they just I'm chant sure that's what they chant big 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 934. 934. So again, we need a little bit more. Um, <laughs> big, big. <sighs> Does this happen, you think, every year in August or is it? Uh, yeah, I would imagine. Multiple times a year. I would imagine. Is this it something does. you can do uh, as like a tour, like get you and a hundred friends to? <laughs> if they were, if I would imagine, no. You don't think that they would, like, if you could go at any time of year and they would say, do you want to know what it's like to be one of these people? You could have a bunch of people pay to get in a boat and have that experience. They should. That's a lot of people, though. I know, but I would do that. No, oh, I would do, but I just don't think it exists. It's true. You would need a lot of tourists there at the like, same time willing to do it. Yeah. Or just, would, would they let you pay to just sit in the boat? 
Also, how do you, like, it's such a big boat, how do you just get into this sport? It's not like you could just have I know. A, like, like, oh, this is our family boat. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing this morning, honey? Well, I'm just going to go to work in the boat this yeah, morning. Yeah, you have to practice with 100, with 100 people. people. Yeah. So it definitely is a team sport. Yeah. This isn't just one of those things you can go do. I mean, I guess you could. I'm sure they do train on their own with different things, but not in those big mama jambas. How do you... What weights would you have to do? To, like you just gotta row, do the, the 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 rowing. Yeah, you gotta have a rowing machine, and I guarantee. But it's not I, I this. It's not, it's no, not, it's not this one. It's, it's this. It's this one. I'm I'm sure they've got little one person or two person things that they get in, but even then, that's not the same thing. You've got to get in there and get the rhythms and everything with the people, with the teammates. I bet they don't even go to the gym. They just keep doing that in the water. Probably. Let well, us know. But what, <laughs> what do we know? We're Nothing. Look at us. Look at us. Wondering and th trying to theorize on how they do it. We don't know Jack. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs>